And you know what that means. It means I have five days left to actually try to figure out how to make a proper thumbnail for these videos. So, yeah, we've got another edition of Sip and Snack, and let me do a quick uh, sidebar from yesterday's video. Uh, the Pringles doesn't have an apostrophe S, it's just regular Pringles. That's the reason I couldn't find that I had done other Pringles in the past. Plus, also, Pringles is a potato crisp, not a potato chip. There apparently is a difference. So, went to Walmart a while back, and I found one thing, and I found its uh, partner, and it made sense that I would do these today. So I love cereal on this network. It's something that there's always new cereals. There's always stuff I still need to grab. And then I also love candy on this network. So what happens when you mix cereal and candy? You get Frankford Candy Company who have licensed out Elf on the Shelf of all random things. Super Mario, Peeps, Nickelodeon, M&M's, Oreo, Krabby Patties. Marvel, Disney, and Universal, and what we have today, and that's Pebbles. Yes, post Fruity Pebbles candy bars. And then we have post Cocoa Pebbles candy bars. I'm very curious what these are gonna taste like. Um, so I'm gonna guess they're probably the same. I'm gonna look and see if they are on camera here. Uh, a little different. Okay, so nutritional facts. We'll do them here. Uh, maybe this will be better for actually keeping the video here. So three servings for a container, and that's a third of a bar. There's 140 calories in the Fruity Pebbles as well as in the Cocoa Pebbles. There's seven grams of fat in Fruity Pebbles, but eight in the Cocoa Pebbles. And six grams of fat, six grams of saturated fat in the Fruity Pebbles and 4.5 grams in the uh, Cocoa Pebbles. There's no, tra no transitional fat and no cholesterol in the Fruity Pebbles, but there is five milligrams of cholesterol in the Cocoa Pebbles. 30 milligrams of sodium in both. Vitamin D has none, 48 milligrams in the Cocoa Pebbles and ca of calcium and 40 milligrams of calcium in the Fruity Pebbles. And then total carbohydrates, there would be 18 grams for Fruity Pebbles and 16 grams for Cocoa Pebbles. Less than a gram for dietary fibers on the Cocoa Pebbles, but none in Fruity Pebbles. Total sugars is 17 grams for the Fruity and uh, 14 for the Cocoa, as well as 15 grams of added sugars for the Fruity and 12 for the Cocoa, interesting. Two grams of protein in the Cocoa, but only one in the Fruity Pebbles. There's no iron and 57 milligrams of potassium in the Fruity and no I 0.06 milligrams of iron and 74 milligrams of potassium in the Cocoa. So of course, I'm gonna try these here. Hopefully that's long enough for me to actually get a proper thumbnail. We'll see. So I've heard good things about this. It's basically just Fruity Pebbles and Cocoa Pebbles in a candy bar form. Let's show you what it looks like. Oh, that's interesting. Put that aside here so that doesn't blow the spot. White chocolate. And of course you can see the Fruity Pebbles inside. This was a little piece that I chipped off, so I'm gonna try it and see what it tastes like. It's curious. Like, there's two pieces here. It's kinda like a Heath bar, basically. Heath bar, yeah, basically. Kinda like a Hershey's bar, basically. It just kinda snaps in piece, so it looks like this. So let's try it. I don't quite understand the need for the white chocolate. I guess it might mean that it makes it pop more. And you can see like the Fruity Pebbles inside. This is good. And that very familiar Fruity Pebble taste permeates the entire time that you're eating it. The only thing missing from this is probably milk, but obviously it's me we're talking about here, so I'm not gonna go for that. Let's try the Cocoa Pebbles which is one of my favorite cereals. The only thing I need here is peanut butter. And I don't have any buttercream from Gideon's right now, or I'd totally do that. You can't really see the cocoa pebbles inside, but the intention is there. I'm gonna break it apart and see what it tastes like. So.
the milk chocolate kind of overpowers the, the actual cereal. But it's good. I like it a lot. Recommend it for sure. Let's try this one. That's your sipping snack for today. Back to cereals tomorrow. That being said, I want to thank you guys and girls out there for watching. And until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I got to say about that.